host, welcome to Historia Spanum, History Constance, the amazing story of the Japanese attacks on mainland USA in 1944 and 1945. Japan had developed a weapon that could free fly across the Pacific with a high altitude jet stream, and then, when it had reached the US west coast, would drop incendiary and anti-personnel bombs. This was the Fugu balloon bomb, and 9000 of these were produced and launched. And please, like, share and subscribe. It means a lot to us. This is one of the Japanese paper balloons, identified by the code name Paper. The unit carries up to four 10-pound incendiaries and a central payload of about 60 pounds of incendiaries or anti-personnel HE bombs to drop on the west coast of the United States and Canada. It is then supposed to destroy itself. Several defective units, however, have come to Earth at various locations. Some of these have been recovered, sufficiently complete, for detailed analysis and investigation. Back plots from available data indicate that the balloons are released in Japan, probably from the Nagoya district, at about 30,000 feet under prevailing wind conditions reaching velocities of about 100 miles per hour it takes approximately four days to make the crossing during the winter months, when wind velocities are highest. During the rest of the year, velocities drop so greatly that a successful balloon crossing would be rare. These units have been found in areas ranging from Alaska all the way south to the Mexican border. The balloon unit has a paper gas bag, 64 rope shrouds about 40 feet long, and an automatic ballasting and firing control. The ballast consists of sand in paper bags. The payload is usually made up of incendiaries and possibly one or more anti-personnel HE bombs. The material of the bag is five ply rice paper, about eight ten thousandths of an inch thick. Paper strength is 69 pounds per linear inch when dry and about 37 pounds per linear inch when wet. It has one tenth the permeability of American rubberized balloon fabric. Most of the balloons burst or deflated, landing in the sea, but over 1,000 of these secret weapons reached North America and a quarter of them caused damage mostly small forest fires. Some of the balloons landed intact and were examined by the military. Some were shot down by warplanes in mid-flight. A clip of those encounters is coming up. A secret agreement was made with newspaper editors so reports of successful attacks were never published and the Japanese could not find out how successful their balloons had been. The ballast drops away in this manner. Sandbags, incendiaries, and central payload are suspended by means of T-hooks which fit between the blowout plugs. Though they are intended to fire in pairs, blowing either one releases the T-hook. <laughs> This is the fourth day out, and as the last sandbag is dropped, only the payload remains. Presumably, the lighter-than-air invader is now over our coast. The first incendiary is dropped. There goes the fourth one. Now only the central payload is left. Note that it is suspended from the usual T by means of an S hook. The payload is dropped and the fuse is burning to the demolition block which will destroy the ballast control unit. At the same time, the fuse leading to magnesium flare is burning. 
only fatalities from a balloon bomb occurred on May 5, 1945, when six civilians were killed near Bly, Oregon, when they discovered one of the balloon bombs in the Fremont National Forest. The Reverend Archie Mitchell and his wife Elsie was together with five Sunday school students on a picnic. Elsie and the children found a Japanese balloon lying on the ground. A large explosion occurred, killing all six. The only survivor of the group was the Reverend who was meanwhile moving their car. After this, the press blackout in the US was lifted on May 22nd to ensure that others were warned of the threat. For the past several months, since 10th March, long-range free balloons released in Japan carried explosives to the North American continent. Easterly winds that prevail at 20 to 30,000 feet swept the balloons across the Pacific in from 85 to 135 hours. Aleutian-based fighters intercepted a number of the balloons and made photographic passes before shooting them down. About 33 feet in diameter, the balloons were filled with 19,000 cubic feet of hydrogen gas. Ballast dropping mechanism and bomb loads were hung about 45 feet below the bag. When hit with incendiaries, the balloons burned but did not explode. When the balloon is launched in Japan, this plug is pulled, igniting the long launching fuse, which takes about 55 minutes to burn through to the first jack plug. During this time, the balloon ascends rapidly until it reaches 30,000 feet, its operating altitude, and starts eastward. When the fuse burns out, this jack plug blows. Closing switches and arming the number one ballasting plug. Master aneroid is now in control. As the balloon loses some of its lift, say, on the second night out and descends, the master aneroid establishes electrical contact when the balloon has dropped about 2,700 feet. This contact causes the ballasting plugs to blow, dropping the sandbags suspended between the two plugs in number one position. Again, the balloon goes back up to operating altitude. Freed of the weight of the ballast control unit, the bag sails up to higher altitudes where the magnesium flare will ignite the highly inflammable hydrogen. Such are the facts about this ingenious menace. It may come over in larger and larger numbers. Its makeup may change. It may be larger and more destructive than at present. It can be detected by radar or reported by ship and aircraft lookouts. Defensive measures by all services are in operation to meet this menace. First, the fuse to the demolition block is pulled out. Then the plug from the battery to the aneroid is disconnected. Now both the battery box and demolition block can be lifted out. Here is the platform on which the battery box and demolition block made their Pacific crossing. The demolition charge is a two and one half pound block of picric acid detonated by a fuse. This charge is supposed to destroy the ballasting mechanism. The battery case consists of three celluloid-like boxes and airspace provides some thermal insulation. A 20% solution of calcium chloride in the middle box acts as a thermal overcoat and is sealed by a rubber plug. 
The solution helps to ward off freezing of the battery at night and excess heating during the day. The battery within a third box puts out two volts and about 10 amps on short circuit. It is a lead acid, wet cell type with five plates. Spacers maintain a uniform air space between the outer boxes. There was no visible evidence of success, and operations to launch Fugo balloons ceased in April 1945. Due to the fact that the most favorable winds were from November to March, the balloons dropped incendiaries on snow-covered or very damp forests. In addition, their precipitation in 1945 was much above average. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.